Hello and welcome to Tennis Works TV on Tuesday the 17th of January 2012 with myself John Cavill the director of tennis Tennis Works. Here's a brief roundup of the latest news in the world of tennis. The first Grand Slam event of 2012 has started and the Aussie Open is always a great event as players try to get their new season off to a good start. World number 2 and 2009 Australian Open champion Rafael Nadal opened his campaign to recapture the trophy with a 6-4, 6-1, 6-1 victory over American qualifier Alex Kuznetsov on Monday in Melbourne. World number 38 Bernard Tomic is contesting the Australian Open main draw for the fourth time and maintained his perfect first round record. The Australian teenager delighted the Rod Laver Arena as he came back from two sets down for the second time in his career to defeat Spanish number 22 seed Fernando Vidasco 4-6 6-7-6-4-6-2-7-5 World number one, Novak Djokovic started his Aussie Open title defence by being broken by Italian Paolo Lorenzi for a 2-1 lead on Tuesday afternoon in Melbourne but the world 109 was not to win another game as Novak went on to win 6-2, 6-love, six 6-love six after one hour and 32 minutes. World number four and British number one Andy Murray did a good job of keeping 19 year old American Ryan Harrison contained as he won his first round match 4-6, 6-3, 6 US Open champion Sam Stoza crashed out of the Australian Open losing 7-6, 6-3 in a first round match against Romanian world number 60, Sorana Cristia. Helena Dokic has raced through to the second round of the Australian Open for the second consecutive year, requiring just 48 minutes to dispose of her former world number 5, Anna Chadvodadsky, 6-2, 6-1. After a phenomenal 2011, the Czech Republic's Petra Kvitova has started 2012 where she left off after sweeping aside luckless Russian Vera Dushanvina after the Russian took a two-love lead in her first set. Kvitova went, went on to take the next 12 games and the match 6-2, six 6-love. Six after the injury scare, Kim Kleiss's had prior to the tournament, there was no evidence of this in a first round match as Kleisters, the number 11 seed, defeated Portuguese qualifier Maria Haracola 7-5-6-1. In the late night match, number 1 seed Wozniacki pulled away from a 2 all in the first set from Russian born Australian Anastasia Rodionova 6-2 Six love. Here are a few players that I'm looking out for in 2012. I have a few players that I feel could make the top 10 and beyond in 2012 and they will come as no surprise to most of you. The first being Canadian Milos Raonic who won the Chennai Open title in the first week of the 2012 ATP World Tour season has also moved through to the second round of the Aussie Open. Rainich made an impressive run last year on his Australian Open debut, reaching the fourth round as a qualifier before falling to Ferrer, and he earned the ATP World Tour Newcomer of the Year honours in 2011. 19-year-old Ryan Harrison is an exciting player and with maturity and handling the US media attention as he develops as a player he could make that breakthrough into the top 10. Another player that I'm very fond of is Australian Bernard Tomic as he is improving month by month and is filled with an abundance of self-belief. 
Having taken a few top seed scouts, he's definitely one to watch to see if he can mix it with the top four and get amongst them as Grand Slam title contenders. In the women's game, I'm finding it very hard to see who will make the breakthrough into the top 10. But one player that has caught my attention is the German world number 44, Mona Bartel, as she is starting to compete with the big players and recently took the Hobart title after coming through as a qualifier. Looking ahead to next week. There is and will only be one tournament the world of tennis will be focusing on as players advance through into the second week of the Australian Open. Let me keep you informed about the forthcoming Tennis Works events. Join us in Milton Keynes for a live Tennis Works seminar with Alan Jones and Joe Jury titled So You Want to Produce a Pro Player. Alan Jones currently heads up the Elite Tennis Academy, FC Tennis, based at Dukes Meadow in London, and having coached many of Britain's national champions at junior and senior level over many years, Alan is one of the most respected coaches in British tennis. He is internationally renowned for having masterminded Joe Jury's career to world number five and spent 10 years on the international WTA Women's Tour. Joe is one of Britain's most successful players ever, having been the British number one for 10 years, reached a career high of number five in the world and won two mixed doubles grand slams. She retired in 1995 and since then has been coaching with Alan and working as a TV commentator for Eurosport and the BBC. During the seminar, Alan and Joe will discuss the various elements required to produce a professional tennis player whilst imparting their experiences when they were at the top of the world tennis circuit and what they are doing today to produce future professional players at their academy. This is a rare opportunity to see this internationally recognised duo, so we hope that you can join us. You can register for the seminar on www.tennisworks.net. Please go to tennisworks.net today where you can register for your free membership for one month. Whether you're a coach, player, parent, enthusiast, assistant or involved in tennis in any way, tennisworks.net is a one-stop shop for all your tennis development and educational needs. On the website you can also sign up to our free newsletter which is bursting with quality information and articles from our contributors around the world. And you can also join our YouTube channel for regular updates on the world of tennis. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and please go and visit tennisworks.net now. Take care and see you all again soon.